Let's try this again. <laughs> Wait, after I turn. Good morning. Oh my God, my throat is terrible. Today I was supposed to do a June, July favorites video, but as you can see, I have very um, little amount of voice that I can project. So I decided to vlog because I feel like Video videos are so formal and I didn't want to do a video with my voice like this. So I'd rather just vlog about my day with my raspy, nasty voice and tell you it's nasty. Um, um, first of all, I am about to go to Steph's house to pick up some stuff that I left uh, with her. So her mom's gonna be there, um, which y'all have met. Um, I am gonna go get my um, hair done. I'm so excited. I'm getting my um, my hair dyed. I'm not gonna cut it. Basically what it's called, it's kind of like an ombre, but it's called a burr, starts with a B, burr or something. But basically it's a more like natural uh, form of an ombre. It kind of naturally uh, goes better into your hair. It blends better. There you go. Gotta get my words right. Um, so I'm gonna be getting that done and I have not dyed my hair in maybe over a year and a half so I'm really excited about that. What else? Um, yeah, just come along for the ride. I really wanted you guys to come with me because today is full of exciting things and I'm not gonna let a little scratchy throat get in the way of it. So Norma is the sweetest person ever. <coughs> sweetest person ever she made me this um, shake, very nutritious. She is very interesting when it comes to shakes. She adds the most um, just craziest stuff ever. Um, like she adds like cactus and all this crazy stuff in shakes, but they're actually end up being so good. Um, and then I try to make them and they're disgusting. So she just has secret recipes for these shakes that are so good um but anyways yeah i'm on my way to my hair appointment and it's so exciting so guys my hair is done i'm so happy with my final product oh my god i absolutely i wanted to film a little bit of her doing my hair but i didn't want her to feel like uncomfortable you know um oh my god it's all foggy hold on thing because it's so hot in Houston but anyways this is my hair I really love it it's exactly what I wanted actually um, I didn't want to film me getting my hair done because some people genuinely get freaked out the moment a camera gets on them hold on let me turn my car around some people are like genuinely freaked out like don't record me so it's kind of like you know I really wanted to record her I love her um, if you're in Houston and if you live near Bay Area um, someone is smiling at me because I have a camera hold on I'm putting my GPS here I have to go pick up my friend we're about 40 minutes away and I have 33 minutes to get there Okay, does this require tools? Okay, no. Because I don't have a tool thing. Head west on West Bay Area Boulevard. Okay. As I was saying. Okay, so if you guys are around Baybrook area, which if you live in Houston, you know where that's at. Um, Y'all have to come um, to Ulta off of Bay Area and ask for Alyssa. She's the one that does my hair, my sister's hair, and my mom's hair. Um, turn left, then turn left onto West Bay Area Boulevard. Um, she turn left and then turn left. Okay. Turn left. Okay, I got it, dude. I got it. I feel like that's a long way. Why are we going that way? Okay, I'm just gonna pay attention. Y'all, like, you have to request her. So, today I spent 172 on my balaye jasha 
that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, she was telling me that it's a, a, just kind of a technique of an ombre, basically. Um, and yeah, so that's what I ended up getting in my hair. And I, like usually when I get my hair done, I've always like shown her a picture and she has never failed to disappoint me and the similarity of my photo. And what I love about Alyssa is that she's very honest too. Like she'll tell you, if you go in and you're like, I don't know if I need a haircut, like she'll tell you. like you don't need a haircut, you know, because it's kind of like, she's just really honest about those things. Or um, even today, I want to go, I wanted to go a bit lighter in the ends because my goal is to kind of have that whitish blonde at the bottom of my hair, not like throughout my whole hair, but at the bottom. And she said, I really don't recommend you for you to do that right now. Um, she's like, you know, maybe in the, within the process you can reach that level and I was like oh okay so that's what I really love about her is um, you know obviously she's always going to do what the customer wants but she's also going to give you her professional opinion on whether something will look good or not so I really like her for that and she is awesome she's so good and everything was 172 which I don't think was bad at all because I've spent a lot more um, with doing stuff to my hair. This is my new hair and I'm so happy with it. I finally got some color. I felt like I had given up on my hair. Um, I didn't want to give up on my hair, but I just didn't know. One thing about me is like, if I don't absolutely want to do something, I won't do it. Like, I won't dye my hair just to dye it. Um, if I'm going to do something, it's because I really, really, really want to do it. So, like, I can't just be like, oh, well, I kind of have to already change my hair color. Um, even though I had to change it, there was just nothing that I really liked or was obsessed with enough to do to my hair. So, that's kind of how it was when I cut my hair. I was really obsessed with with wanting it short that I went short and now I think I'm Turn obsessed right onto East 528 Road. and now I'm obsessed with having it very very long um, so I'm just a white or black type of girl there is just no gray areas with Melissa Del Cid it's either one way or the other but it's not in between so yeah that's why I was like my hair was just not in the best shape like color wise it, it was like um, it had some blonde in it but it had it was a blonde that grew out over a year and a half span so yeah it needed some some loving and I'm really happy with what she ended up doing with my hair and what I love about this is that now my hair is done so I'm like I'm ready to go out and have a good time with my friends because my hair is done so I believe I'm grabbing when she talks about Manuel the face is transformed we just finished the scene fue la cena más cara de mi vida 40 dólares por unos vegetales literalmente nunca vuelvo a, a nunca regreso a este restaurante muy caro y ni es como ni es tan formal es lupe tortilla hey Michelle. saliendo con Michelle desde Bogotá Colombia ella está soltera Yes. <laughs> no, for much of the time. Of course. Hey! 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 So this place has the best vegan cinnamon rolls. They are so good. I love their coffee. Ow, my Michelle 
todavía tiene más hambre. Más hambre. <laughs> she says that we eat a lot here in Texas, which I agree with. Everyone eats a whole bunch here, but I love this cafe. Have you ever just gotten home and you're like, oh my god, I'm so tired that you can't even get out of your car? That you just sit in your driveway and you're like, tired. That's how I feel. Just got home after a very nice day, actually. My fishes. Hello. My dad is out of town, and basically, I'm responsible for feeding all of our animals. I'm good at giving love to animals. But I'm really bad at being responsible with them. And our poor little fishies over here haven't eaten all day because I haven't been home. Look, they have strict amount of times that they eat. And I have not fed them because I haven't been here. So this is a heat, a heater that we have in the fish tank to keep their um temperature at 79.3 which is the perfect temperature for them and we feed them a bad mom today did you know i took a, an aquatics class and we learned what you want to order books through my Amazon account? Yes. Don't you have a premium? I have Prime. And what does that mean? It means that you get special discounts and it gets here like super fast and you don't pay shipping most of the time. Oh, dude. I need to, okay, I need to like do that. Let it be known that my brother needs me in his life and he uses mm -hmm. my stuff. Okay, so can I like order some books? I need to order a couple books. Right now. Don't talk to me like that. I have approximately three books that I need to order. Oh, you're three so books. smart. And three books. Be the captain of your own ship. Be the captain of your own ship. What are you, a pirate? Anyways, oh, as I was. Oh, I am not recording videos for you. You take forever. So as I was saying about my fish, did you know that we learned that fishes know people's voice according to their vibrations? So right now when I was talking to them, like they know me according to the vibration of my voice. So um, whenever I, I I'm talking or they hear noises, they hear it as different vibrations. So I thought that was a pretty cool fact I can share with you guys about fishes and this is their night routine <laughs> then i cover them like this and 
their temperature is at exactly 79, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Looks like we're good. Mr. Cool Guy over there. Where are you going? This late? Yes, this late. Kind of an objective to me. <laughs> Objectives! Okay, and my earphones. <coughs> Josh is such an applicable person with objectives to meet in a ship to sail. Crispy, are you that effective? My little Crispy. This is my baby. Simba, are you okay? Anyways, this is my baby. She is 12 years old. Got her when I was 10 and now I'm 22. So, can you believe I'm 22 and I got her when I was 10? I got her my fifth grade summer. She's so cute. I think she's sad. I had brought my earphones down. She is sad. And then Simba over here is nine years old. But he is just Mr. Grumpy Pants all the time. Like, he is always mad. What have y'all been eating? No. Crispy, we gotta have your vitamin. We gotta have your vitamin, Crispy. These are the vitamins we give Crispy since she's older in age. And it's pretty awesome because it's like chocolate for dogs. And it smells just like chocolate. This is how the way they look like. Crispy does not eat things easily. But for some reason, she is very cooperative with this. So let's go. Go and try to give it to her. Are you ready for your vitamin, Crispy? Are you a good girl? Look at her, she's already moving her lips. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl, Crispy? Yes, you love your vitamin, don't you? Are you gonna be a good girl? Good girl, Crispy. Good girl. I need to take some Advil. Advil is just the helper of all things. I got this cup. I got this for my birthday. Um, and it's basically all these little fun pl places in France, um, which I thought was really cute. In Paris, actually. And this is a really cute cup. So. I usually go with this cup all the time and it just got washed, so thank the Lord. I'm gonna boil some water for tea. So yeah, when I want my tea to be done quicker, I just do it in the electrical one. And then when I wanna be very old fashioned, I do it in my orange one. Oh, my throat got better, by the way. That shake really helped. I really love my new hair color. Anyways, and this weekend is gonna be even more fun because we're gonna be at a concert where we're gonna have a DJ, Evan Craft, and my brother. Hi, Mom. Hola. YouTube. Hey, Mom, I gotta ask you something. Okay. Okay, so, a lot of people think. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That. So a lot of people they they ask why I don't do videos in Spanish. So can you explain to them that I love speaking Spanish? I just feel more comfortable speaking in English. 
Or what's your point on that? Do you think I should make Spanish videos? The videos. Tú sabes hablar español. I know, I know. Solo que creo que no quieres esforzarte lo suficiente. <laughs> Quiero decir como la forma más fácil de hacerlo. Ya, yeah, sí es más fácil hablar inglés. No, es Porque que es tu lengua en... Ya, bueno, look, ok, so, mire, esta es una de las razones. Ok, so hay que decir que estoy haciendo un video de maquillaje. Uh, qué bonito. Yo ni, like, I wouldn't be able to say... Like what? I don't know how to say foundation, blush. Foundation. Blush. Rubor. <laughs> rubor. Rubor. Rubor? Yeah. Mascara. Um, Mascara? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Mascara. Um. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's hard. Or eyeliner, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is sombra. Delineador. Delineador. Uh, eyeshadow is sombra. sombra. Okay. So it's it's like hard to come up with terminology like like sí, pero a medida que, que a medida que como ahora no si si no practicas yeah. pero a medida que vas practicando lo vas en, la palabra donde te encuentras que no la no la sabías bueno esa es la que Research vas a, a buscar la, practicarla maybe I can add subtitles sí pero eso toma mucho tiempo Yeah. Todo toma un esfuerzo. I know. Michelle y yo vamos a grabar un video. Okay. Vamos a hacer como un Q&A, un panel. Eso se oye bien. De, de diferentes preguntas que jóvenes se hacen. Vamos a hablar de noviazgo. Cristiano. Así, no, cristiano. Así, eh, a ellos le llaman lo sentimental. ¡Au! Oh, ¡A pimple! You just took it off. No. Eso me iba a agarrar. Um, la área, ellos le llaman área sentimental mm -hmm. y amigos con propósito so we're gonna be talking about that que dice nombre oh I brought food Good. mom you know that plate was $40 that's vegan vegan sentimental you know that plate was $40 for verduras donde en lupes tortilla I'm never going back there oh yes. no es una parrilla de vegetales $40. No, alguien cometió un error. ¿Me dieron el recibo? Sí. Yeah. ¿Me enseñan? No, I left it there. I'm just doing my night routine. I fed, I showed them how I feed the fishes. Um, cover them. I feel bad. They didn't eat all day because I haven't been home all day. Yo le di. ¿Cuándo? ¿Los pescados? Yeah. En la mañana. Yo les di a mediodía en la mañana. Y antes de comer un extra. Oops. What tea do I want? Este té es muy complicado. Pero bonito tu pelo. You like it? Man, Alyssa's amazing. She's amazing. Se creció. Yeah, and she curled it. She's really nice. I like her a lot. I'm going with the tea bag today. By Cozy Chamomile. Man, that hurt. Mom, you really picked out my pimple. Like you literally picked it out. No. Yeah, it was a pimple. <laughs> I'm never going back to that restaurant. It was so expensive. Yeah, okay, look, la parrilla era 28 dólares. Mm -hmm. Plus tax, plus the tip, it was it came out to 38. Pero esto era más comida que eso? ¿Qué tanto era? Era como yo me comí la mitad. Te cobró por una parrilla. Yeah. Te cobró como y, si te hubiera y Verónica comió. Como si te hubiera vendido carne. Exacto. Y Verónica. No tenías que porciones. No, look. Y Verónica comió carne y solo era 20 dólares. So, ¿cómo es posible que vegetales costó más que la carne? That's ridiculous. Like, I have a headache thinking about it. I didn't want to. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. I wanted to bring you guys along for today. So, a lot of fun things coming. And thankfully, I'm feeling a lot better. I got better throughout the day, so that's good. But I'm just going to enjoy my nice cup of tea, catch up with some Pretty Little Liars, and go to sleep. Because tomorrow is another day yet to be achieving great things i sound like josh now i need to sail my own boat josh was trying to be inspirational in my videos 
All right, guys, have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Let's go. Let's go. Someone's excited to go walking. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, he's so dramatic. All right, Simba. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Calm down. Hold on. Come here, Simba. Creo que por eso vomitó por el estrés. Eso sí. Porque ya era noche y había como caminó. It's okay. Come on, casita. So guys, we went to go walk the dogs, Crispy and Simba. The stars are so beautiful today. Like, I'm not even gonna bother showing y'all because y'all can't see them. But they're so beautiful today. They're out and they're so bright. Um, so we think that Simba threw up from stress because my dad walks him up to six times a day. And today, like, he hasn't walked since my dad left out of town. Because we're never home. He comes home for the dogs, so. Boy, do you feel better? Come here. Do you feel better, Simba? All right. That is having a dog, you guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.